Hey guys, my name is Scribs, also known as Rick Bergender. I'm an artist and here's some of my stuff. There are a couple of different things that motivate me. I think one of the main things is knowing the possibilities of what art can lead to. Um, one of my first favorite pieces is, is Google Piece. I created this in 2013 in the winter time. And this was made in Somers, New York, in Westchester County. Um, this this piece is is like a free, more more of an abstract expression. This piece, but there is some control to it. I tried to get different dimensions in there, so in in the sense that it's not only uh, two dimensional or three dimensional. I tried to add like a, a symbolize a fourth dimension if that's possible. So. Um, and and the fact that it's it's Google piece, I put that there just just to change masterpiece because I feel like Google is almost the master of all the information that everybody gets. So why call this a masterpiece when really it's a Google piece? It could be a Google piece. Um, so that that's a it's a one of my most powerful pieces. So so I uh, hope you enjoy it. And this one is called Parliament Pat. It's mixed with with uh, acrylic paint and oil-based enamel. Now, my influence behind this was actually Bob Ross. Um, I watched some of his videos. He's a great guy. Um, unfortunately, he did pass away. However, we can still learn from from the different skills and techniques that he used. So I like I did that with the trees in here. So I really mixed it into almost turned it into like an abstract. Um, almost surreal surrealist painting and then of course with the scribs all authentic scribs design that I put in there so um, this this piece is fun I think it's interesting and it's got a got a good story behind it so yep this one is called Parliament Pet there you go um, my thought process when I'm when I started painting is is very um, on the spot if you will it really, what, what's going on, how I'm feeling, what I'm thinking about, usually goes into a painting. For example, sometimes if, if I'm having a hard time in my life and something's going on that's really affecting me, I, I've even put tears into many paintings. They, the tears are in the painting. Everything that I have, my thoughts, my emotions, go into the work. So it, it could be something really intense, such as um, ad adoption and thinking about my heritage and my roots, or it could be something really normal, like looking at somebody's jacket, or or thinking about fashion, or even just thinking about music that that I'm playing in my ears. Um, so, it, really anything that any normal person would think about is just what I do when I paint. So it's really free. People that really appreciate art, such as David. Uh, David Yars, he's one of the general managers at MRY, and also Matt Britton, um, CEO at uh, Mr. Youth, uh, which is now I think called MRY. Um, I'll do work for them anytime they, they ask. Anytime they need something, I'll help them because they've had my back. They've they treated me like family. They they helped me when I needed help, and they love art, and so they love the work that I do. So, of course, people like that, I'm, I'll be willing to put my put my neck out and help them in any way that I can. Also, of course, um, TSB Gallery Gallery owners, uh, Dennis and Dean Thompson, they've they've helped immensely, immensely. Um, I'm in a very good position now, and I give them a lot of credit for that. I need to give them credit for that. So, anytime they need something done, definitely I'll put my neck out for them too because they love art, and I love I love seeing the joy. In their, their faces and, and feeling feeling the joy you can tell it's in their hearts when they when they get a painting or they see a painting so definitely like I'm but ever turn turn a job down um, for, for somebody that is this real art lover.